as he's walking around, he said, and she's saying, wow, most romantic word I've ever heard. He says, she doesn't know my phone has a quantum. <laughs> Allah protect us. What a... Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Jesse Keegan and right about now we're gonna do another reaction But before we get into the reaction video guys, I want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to the channel You're the biggest time with man. We want to thank each and every person out there who's been able to like subscribe to our channel You are the realest and also we want to thank the people who've been able to you know Just our comment on, on our comment section. You guys are just really amazing the comments that you guys are putting on the comment section guys is just super super amazing thank you thank you so much like we can't thank you more guys you're the really sound repeat man so right about now we're gonna do another reaction video before i get to the reaction video me and my girlfriend we have a new channel or uh, by the name of uh funny jesse 2.0 just go and subscribe to the channel the link is gonna be on the comment section below i'm gonna pin the the link on the comment section below just make sure to hit that link it will take you to our channel wherever you're gonna see our what see our daily life and stuff like that anything to anything from blogging anything from um, challenges and anything from storytelling and stuff like that just hit that subscription button just make sure to subscribe to our channel so right about now I'm gonna do these reaction videos and this one was suggested by a lot of people so many people since we started doing videos for uh, Mufti Menk I think people really wanted us to do more videos and this one right here is one of the videos that was suggested by a lot of people and they suggested that we should they suggested that we or rather me I should go react to move to Mank funniest ever four wives joke so without any further ado let's see what the joke uh, move to Mank is gonna give it to us or something like that so without any further ado guys let's get it go home and praise the right people go home and praise the right people say good words to them it will solve most of your problems utter the good words and protect your tongue from saying sweet words to those whom those words are going to pierce their hearts and they are not going to be able to do anything halal about it. Remember what I said. What's the point of going to someone whom you know already that you've already got your quota of four wives, mashallah. You're sitting and you're happy. And you go to someone else and you tell them, oh, I love you, you're so beautiful, you're so nice. And oh, wow, nobody's told me that before. Wow, so lovely and so on. Is there any form of halal outcome of those statements? They said, today we went and we were told to come out and utter good words. So, my darling, here's the best of words. Oh, you're gorgeous and so on. Believe me. Who are you talking to? If you are uttering those beautiful words to a person whom they will be processed through in a way that they will want to do something about it which will never be halal. In that case, we are sinning. Remember that. Like the man, they say the one man, and this is also a story that I've heard very recently. His wife tells him, listen, you know what, you have to tell me, you have to swear that you're going to be honest with me. He says, okay, I'm honest. Describe your love for me. So the man says, he thinks for a moment and he says, you know what? You are like my SIM card. I'm like the phone, you know? Without you, I'm nothing. Wow. So the woman goes back so happy and delighted. Wow, I'm so happy. It's the sweetest, most romantic thing I've ever heard. Imagine, without a SIM card, what is a phone? How many of us have phones? No SIM card. Can you have a phone? No SIM card? You have a SIM card. So then he walks out. As he's walking out, he said, and she's saying, wow, most romantic word I've ever heard. He says, she doesn't know my phone has a quantum. <laughs> Allah protect us. What a dirty mind. What a dirty mind. But this is the problem with us today. We want to utter words that just soothe people's minds when we don't really mean them sometimes. Why would he have spoken about a dual sum or a quad sum if he was sincere? He wouldn't even have uttered that. May Allah protect us. So the reason I raise this is, I know some of the brothers are nudging each other to say there is a quad sum in the market. You know that? And believe me, there is. If you Google it, you'll see it on Google Images now. You just have to Google the word quad sim on Google image and you'll see the phone. It's available. 
But that does not make the relationship any better. We need to know that when you say beautiful words, you need to make sure that you are uttering them to the right person. And you need to make sure you are not being hypocritical by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For your spouse, it's an act of worship to utter words to make them smile, to make them feel desired, to make them feel they are the most important people in the world. There will come a time when you too will feel that definitely they are the most important people in this world. Go home and praise the right. Wow. <laughs> Move to Mank, man. I, man. Such an amazing uh, speech right there, and and it was also funny, very <laughs> really funny. I mean, so so funny. But it was funny in a way that when you look at it, it's actually the truth. I mean, when you can add beautiful things to somebody, but make sure the person that you are telling beautiful words to is the person that you actually love, and she is the one, or he is the one. You get it. <clears throat> what he was saying here was um, don't just uh, say beautiful words just to make that person happy just to make him or her feel happy and then later on get away with it or something like that make sure if you mention if you make utter good words to somebody make sure you mean it you get it don't go and be hypocritical about it just make sure you mean it and follow the order that way and I think Everybody's gonna be happy, you know, and don't go out there and just say sweet words to people that don't care about you That people don't uh, to people who don't reciprocate back to you That's where you find people go finding love Where it's not needed you get it you have a, you have a wife already and you want to go out there and find somebody who actually didn't see nothing uh, better in you he just saw something of materialistic in you and he loved that you know he loved the the deal he felt uh, he felt in love with the deal you get it most uh, not most of the, but majority of the people the set of group of people who actually fall for the deal and there are people who actually are genuine enough to fall in love and be with you for who you are and treat you the same way you treat them you get it i mean it's something of something of logic if you look at it carefully go out there say sweet words to somebody that you mean to and make sure that person also means a lot to you and he or she will be able to reciprocate that to you and i feel if everybody does that i think uh you're gonna be a happy person you're gonna be a very very happy person whether rich or poor the moment you feel like you felt love from somebody and you give back the same love i think it's something to do with uh having a happy life living longer and you know knowing that you're secured in terms of love you get it yeah not many people understand that but it's really really critical that when you talk about love make sure that when you talk about it to somebody that really really matters somebody that will be able to reciprocate back to you and not somebody will be able to give you negative vibes and be able to give you back hatred and stuff like that and also just like what Mufti Meng said uh, don't say sweet words and then later on you start saying that you know what she doesn't know that I have a quote scene or something like that which is really being, it's being hypocritical don't just say words to make people happy and then later on you uh, disappoint them anyway guys this was such an amazing video, such an amazing, funny video that I ever reacted to and I think I loved for a bit. I mean, such an amazing one. Thank you so much for giving us and giving me this video to react to. You guys are the realest MVP, man. Make sure to give me more reaction videos of Mufti Meng and I'll be able to do it or we will be able to do these reactions. Thank you, thank you so much. And the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you better, better content. And last but not the least, I'm going to see you, or rather, we're going to see you in the next video. And peace out.